Hi everyone, I'm back with another handbag review, which also happens to be by the brand Freya New York. I don't work for the brand, I just happen to get another bag by them that I really like, so I'm gonna review it. Some of you might have seen my first video where I reviewed the Linea Tote by Freya New York. I still stand by everything I said. It is still my holy grail work tote. I use it a ton, it's held up great. So if you're interested in exploring it as a potential work tote option, I'll include the link um, in the description below. Today though, I really wanted to share the Christy shoulder bag with you. This is a relatively new bag that the brand just released, but I've been liking it so much, I just had to tell someone about it, so it's gonna be you. Um, the cost per wear on this bag for me has been phenomenal because I've worn it so much. I've had it for a long enough time now and I've worn it enough that now I feel comfortable talking to you about all of the great things about it and why I do think this one was worth the money. Um, every penny, penny was well deserved. Uh, and there's a few reasons for that. The bag is made of the same kind of vegan leather that all of the bags are made of. I really have learned to love this leather because although a lot of you have pointed out that it's kind of a steep price point for not genuine leather, I honestly think that the vegan leather is better for a few reasons. Like one, it's vegan, but also it's so much lighter than genuine leather. I have a few genuine leather bags that I don't even wear anymore because they're so heavy. Um, whereas the vegan leather bags are very light and airy. This guy weighs like nothing, which is incredible. So uh, I do think that the vegan leather is a big pro, not a con. Uh, other close-up things I wanted to point out about the bag are this beautiful organic shape. This shape really reminds me of Pollen. So if you guys know the brand Pollen, they have really soft, really organic shapes and folds in their bag, and that's what this reminds me of. Um, what I really like about it though, is that the bag will stay up on its own, obviously, it's got this big base, but when you open up the flaps of this bag, they stay up. So when you're reaching in and rooting around inside, they're not clamping down on you and your arm isn't gonna get cut up by like zippers. You know, like that chafe that happens when you reach into a zippered bag. So I'm gonna zoom up here. So the two dots you see here are actually the magnets. So when you close the bag, that organic shape happens from the shape of the magnets, uh, which is nice because you're, it's not relying on the softness of the leather to do this. This is actually by design. And so you're gonna get that beautiful, uh, like soft look when you're wearing the bag the entire time that it's worn because it's held in place by magnets. Uh, the bag is deceptively small. It looks small, but this actually fits a full size Hydro Flask, if you can believe it, among like 10,000 other things. I don't like to wear totes. I generally don't put too much in my totes when I do wear it, unless it's for work. Um, but this holds everything I would actually put in my tote bag, if you can believe it. I'm talking water bottle, Kindle, wallet, sunscreen. I'm gonna show you all of that in a second, and I'm gonna show you how much room is left over. But that is probably the most surprising thing about it is that it looks small, but it is very, very mighty. So um, let's take a closer look. To give you a frame of reference, I'm 5'5". This is how the bag looks on me. It looks very, very small, but it fits so much. Um, what I really wanted to point out though was one of my favorite features of this bag is the length of this handle drop. So I didn't realize I cared so much until I owned this bag and wore it a ton and noticed these things, but this is incredible for a few reasons. First, if you have a heavy winter coat, like a thick snow parka, this bag fits over those gigantic puffy sleeves really easily and well. So when I was wearing this bag in the winter and I had those giant parkas, this was my go-to because it actually fits over the coat. Um, the second thing I like about it is that it actually leaves just enough room for you to reach into the bag and grab what you need without having to take the bag off your shoulder. So as you can see, I'm opening the bag, I'm reaching inside, I can grab my wallet, a lipstick, whatever, without taking it off my shoulder and it hasn't moved. Um, the third and final thing I'll point out is that the bag itself will not 
fall off of your shoulders super easily like some handbags do it does stay on your shoulder which is incredible and apparently a lot to ask for these days so the straps are thin but they're not uncomfortable because this is not like a tote bag where it would get really really heavy um it stays on really well and it's also long enough for me to do this where i can walk around and hold the bag behind my arm this is really important to me because when i'm walking around quickly or if i'm weaving in and out of tight spaces around people i need to be able to do this so big pro um the last thing i'll mention is that whenever i'm using the bag one of the things i actually really like about it is that I have the option to wear it open like this. So say I have like a hardcover book, which I do sometimes carry around in this and it doesn't fit inside the bag. It looks really good when it's worn like this. So you don't have to have it folded down with that organic shape. You can actually wear it styled this way. And I think it still looks really good. So you have that flexibility to wear it open and still have it look really nice, um, which I didn't realize I could do until the day that I needed that feature. Uh, so I'm going to show you some shots now of things inside the bag and I'm going to point out how much room we have left over for all of your knickknacks. All right, so I'm going to blow your mind with how much you can fit inside this tiny little handbag. So I always like to carry around water whenever I can. Um, I've actually been really liking this small water bottle by Muji, which I discovered recently. It's like $2, it's made of like really good BPA free uh, plastic and it's meant to be reused. So it's not like the cheap disposable kind that you just end up refilling over and over. It's slim and thin and it's the perfect size to actually put inside of handbags and it doesn't leak. So um, I've actually been really liking this one. But just to show you how impressive the capacity of the Christie is, I brought out my 24 ounce Hydro Flask water bottle and I, I'll include the measurements of it in the description below, but this will fit into the Christie with room to spare, if you can believe it. Um, the other thing I'm gonna bring is my Kindle. This is a Kindle paper white. Paper white. Um, I'm gonna bring my Touchland hand sanitizer because yes, that will fit. Sunscreen stick. This is Beauty by Joseon with the matte finish. I love it. That's gonna go in. I have a little like pouch where I keep some band-aids and extra random things that's going in as well. Sunglasses inside of a case. Wallet, of course. Hand cream, just because I can. Scrunchie. Lipstick. Battery uh, pack, because I can. And that's all going to fit. And it closes and it stays closed. That's an incredible amount of stuff to fit inside of a shoulder bag and not a tote bag. So I'm gonna take out all of the little small things really quickly and just show you relative to the Hydro Flask, how much room you have left to play with because I think that's really um, one of the most impressive things about it. Let's take a closer look at the inside of the bag. So the interior is made of the same Merlot micro suede that Brian uses in all their bags. I really like it. The color does not transfer or bleed onto other things, which is great. There are two pockets on either side of the bag and the, my entire width of like my hand will fit into each one and they seem to be about the same size. There is an attachment point for a key ring or key leash, but it does not come with a key leash itself. So I haven't used that yet, but it's nice to have. Now, this water bottle is, as I mentioned, 24 ounces. I'm gonna lie it down inside so you can see how much room is left and it goes in and it's not like a tight fit. There's a lot of room left. So you can see that there's a few inches on the side for this water bottle and there's actually a few inches up here too. So I'm gonna use this Touchland sanitizer to show you how much room is left over on the edge. Isn't that crazy? The bag looks so small, but there really is that much room. So you have this whole water bottle sitting in there and this is how much height you have left. So I've put in the bottle, I'm gonna close it and there's a lot of room to stack things on top of it. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope it was helpful to you. 
I just happened to really like this bag and wanted to share it with you as well in case you had similar preferences to mine or were on the market for a bag like this. So um, I will include a referral code in the description below. You're welcome to use it and hopefully it'll save you a few bucks. But if you have any questions about the bag, how well it wears, whether it be about the Christie or the Linea, feel free to add a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching.